Hello everybody. Today we are going to see invoice parking. Parking vendor invoice in SAP MR. So why they park the invoice? They park invoice in the various aspects. One of the main aspects is quality check. If they are if the vendor is sending uh, thousands of material, thousand material, for example, thousand quantity, all the thousand quantity quality check cannot be done. So at that point of time, they do uh, a random check and they send it to the production. Only the production, if they get to know the uh, quality is not up to the expectation, they send the material back to the vendor. For that aspect, they do parking invoice rather than sending the invoice directly to the to the accounts department directly. They just park the invoice and wait for the production team to confirm. That is what it is. So the process I'm going to do is create purchase requisition, create purchase order, I'm going to do goods reserve, park the invoice, save as completed. So let's go to the system. ME 51A, purchase requisition. Let me select the material from here. From the plant, plant material, I'm going to select it. Double one, double one is my plan. Let me select two, three, one, seven. Press enter. Enter the plan, double one, double one. Quantity 10. Let's select the purchase organization, purchasing group. Enter storage location. Let's select the storage location. It's not a mandatory here, but let me select the storage location. Valuation price is a dummy price. Save it. This is my purchase acquisition number. Now let's go to purchase or fashion and me 21 years. Document overview on. This is my purchase record. Adapt. Enter the vendor. Enter purchase organization. Enter the net price. And save. This is my purchase order. Let me do goods receipt now. Let me do goods receipt. Go to slash and MIGO. Enter the purchase order number here. Scroll down item OK and post. Item OK and post. So now I'm going to park the in slash and to come out. MIR 7. Select invoice. See it for incoming invoice, vendor invoice. Enter the date. Select tax code. Enter purchase order number here. Select on to calculate tax. Enter the amount 200. Baseline date, enter the baseline date and save it. So I'm going to park the invoice. Once the invoice has been seen, park has been parked. It's been parked. Now I'm going to save as completed. I'm going to send it to the accounts department. Same process in MIR cell. Transaction code is MIR cell. Tax code, enter, purchase order number, calculate tax, enter amount, enter the base date. See here, you get the base date. Date, before that, we have to get the payment, give the payment to the vendor. Okay. Press enter, and save as complete. See here, now it has been sent to the 
accounts department for payable accounts payable thank you